Babylon discover is a city in the spirit. What Babylon intends to do is to bring mixture into your life so that God is the energy, the temperature and the reality of God is compromised with the reality of other spirits. And a point comes, your pursuit becomes greatness. And you don't care whether you are right or wrong. The guy entered into ministry at first with passion for God and for souls. After 10 years in ministry, his goal becomes a cathedral and money. He doesn't know when he forgot about God. He forgot about soul. Babylon has attacked him. A point came, he began to mix fame with spiritual authority a point comes he begins to mix the anointing with psychology a point comes he begins to mix divine direction with human strategy and a day will come he can never he no longer tells whether it is god leading him or his mind leading him a point come when if god doesn't speak fast he calls technocrats and so babylon has entered babylon brings mixture and the reason he will do that is because his focus is no longer god it's now about greatness that's why it's called Babylon the Great. Compromise God and we give you greatness. Compromise God, we give you influence. Compromise God, we give you honor. But it's a subtle city. If you don't know how to fight it, you are gone. A day comes, you forget about evangelism. You start doing music concert. And even the music concert is not censored by the spirit. You know people love music. And so anything people, anything you do that gets people's attention is good. A point comes, it's no longer about prayer and fasting and evangelism. It becomes about comedians. And you say, when they come, we win them to Christ. You don't know when mixture sets in. And then the comedian comes and waters down the doctrine. The comedian comes and waters down sacred and hollow things. The things that we dread, they play with them. And after a while, everybody takes those things for granted. Church has become fuller, but they fear of God has died church has become fuller but the worship of God has died church has become fuller but the power of prayer has died when you were few everybody was a prayer warrior when you were few when you pray the hall vibrated but now you are one million and when you are praying even the flies in the hall doesn't notice we were in a bi biannual conference of one of the biggest church bodies in Nigeria they say people should pray over 100,000 people were praying. You couldn't hear the prayer. If you were there, you would sleep off. Because the energy died. Great men show up. Mighty men show up. All the black Jews were assembled. Even the testimonies that were shared, all of them were in 1980. Because it was in 1980 that the energy of God was strong. Now, God's voice has been mingled with human strategy. Now the pursuit of intimacy has been replaced with the pursuit of influence and cathedral. There is nothing wrong in building cathedral, but if you allow God to grow you organically, it is better. When you don't censor Babylon out of what you are doing and you allow that mixture to happen, you will receive the same thing God gives, but the reality will be different. The Bible said it's the blessings of the Lord that make it rich and added no sorrow. That means even the devil blesses. The difference is that when the devil blesses, sorrow is added. So God builds cathedrals. Devils also build cathedrals. God gives fame. Devils also give fame. Did you not read about Jesus? When he returned with the power of the spirit, the Bible said his fame went abroad. So God gives fame. But demons also give fame. 